you get a glimpse every now and again, but uh, this part of the lake is completely uh, surrounded by these massive million dollar homes. Beautiful place to have a house, but uh, really not seeing too much of the lake yet. We'll have to find some viewpoints or something so we can uh, get a glimpse. There's about 10 ski hills around this lake. The lake's probably about 6,500 feet, and the ski hills go up from that, so they get a massive amount of snow here in the winter. Okay, here we are. We're uh, getting a quick glimpse of the lake. It's uh, a rare glimpse. Uh, so far, this isn't quite what we expected. It's been uh, a very congested highway, a lot of construction zones, a lot of traffic. Not really the iconic motorcycle ride as we're expecting and uh, certainly not many views of the lake but here we are try and make the best of it I don't know if you can see that right across the uh, lake there there's a massive ski hill probably too far to see with this wide angle lens but uh, anyways it's there Okay, this is the, uh, that's an ambulance, but that's the seventh emergency vehicle that passes going in that direction with the lights and sirens on. Something big happened. All right. Drops off on each side. Whew. Man, we got some pretty wicked curves coming up, too. We are just making our way around the very southern part of the lake here. Going around these two wicked hairpins. And then we'll be going down the road. Down back towards uh, the lake. This end of the lake is a lot less congested than the uh, north end. A bit more scenic as well. The uh, shoreline isn't completely congested with houses. And the road's a lot more fun to ride as well. My guess is it's a big fire because uh, there was, uh, it looked like a fire chief's truck and then a bumper truck just passed us uh, as well heading in that direction. So uh, that's a grand total of eight emergency vehicles heading in that direction. Hey Steve! Here's Route uh, 431 here. Good. Okay, this concludes our uh, tour of uh, Lake Tahoe. We are now heading up uh, Route 431 back to Highway 530 and then back to Reno. But uh, this might be an interesting road to ride. Got a lot of curves that takes us right over top of the mountain, so let's see what we've got. Here's uh, Rose Summit, 8,900 feet. Just peeking out here right now, heading down the other side.